What's up guys, how's it going? I've been doing a little bit of scouting this summer and uh, been trying to figure out a way to access this field that I went to last year. There's an area on the property that is just, it's not an actual field, it's just a very open um, area of kudzu and it's kind of in the very middle of the property and I think there's an underground spring in that area so the deer have definitely got a big water source. I mean, I really think it just seems like a good spot where um, you'd find some bedding areas. And I know that there's a bedding area uh, pretty close to there, a little bit to the west of that area. So I picked up some Biologic at the uh, Field and Stream store. It's got a little bit of clover, a little bit of radish in it. It seems like it would be a pretty good food source. Uh, to put in that area and it's really designed to be just something that's kind of small just for a small area of land so I was trying to figure out a way to set that area up as a food plot I really just didn't know of a good way to access it I, I really wasn't sure how easy it would be to get any sort of equipment down there you've got a big uh, drop off um, it's a pretty steep hill that you've got to go down in order to get to that area so we've been doing a lot of work on this area and uh, I really think it's going to be a good spot. Um, really seems like a good place where you'd find some deer bedded and uh, especially with a natural water source that, you know, probably not going to go away. But I'm really excited about it and I think it's going to be a good area to hunt this season. came back down here again and we've got a couple of cameras out so been wanting to come down here for a while and uh, try and get a chance to check this place out this is back over where I shot my deer this year I really found a lot of good tracks over here in this area so just seemed like a pretty good place um, a lot of sign so I think I'm going to try and put a camera up over in here um, just see if I can get an idea of what sort of deer are traveling down this road because it seemed like last year there were a whole lot of deer traveling up and down this road um, and we just we really don't hunt over here a whole lot so that's kind of my thinking right now um, just to see if I can get any sort of a pattern going um, and we'll see what we can do from there so far the insect repellent is working
Yeah. All right. Finally got something figured out here. So I think we're going to see if we can figure out some way for Pop to get the dozer in here later on. And uh, hopefully figure out this place. out there probably don't even know what this stuff is for those who don't know this is kudzu the most frustrating plant on the face of the earth there's nothing but a bunch of vines that grow on literally everything so it offers a whole lot of cover for deer especially during the summer and you can see I mean you're standing in it I mean it's waist high so you really don't have a whole lot of ability to get the habitat diversity that most of the time you're looking for so it really really makes it a whole lot more monotonous but if you look at a place like this right here You can see it offers the deer a whole lot of options for bedding. But the trick is trying to clear this out where you can access it to uh, get a better trail through here. So hopefully we've got a good enough spot. in there that's for sure stay tuned to see how this goes hopefully we'll get us a good food plot here and get something working for later on in deer season so i think that's gonna do it for this video i gotta go inside and cool off so we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching
baby turkeys. Uh-huh. And he, all we could see was just, it was stretched about this big around, yeah. and he looked like the yellow python from Tuscaloosa in there. Oh. And I said, your Nana is a badass. <laughs> <laughs> For her 79th birthday, uh -huh. she went and killed a nine-foot snake. Yep. <laughs>